Hill's lined up in the slot. Here's a quick turn in the throw oh. to Hill, and he's got room to run at the 35. And he gets to the outside. It's the nightmare scenario. Oh. He's down the sideline into Jaguars territory. Andre Sisco got in his way. Slam route, fake the run, hits the slant. All of this space in number 10 can go. Tyreek Hill, all the gas, ran away from the defense. And here's the toss. And Bixby looking for a block. He gets one, turns inside. Oh, he lost the ball. Miami has recovered the Bixby fumble. Right near the one-yard line. Opportunity for the Jaguars. We're back after this on the Jaguars television network. Hands the ball off of the Jaguars defense. Pushed him backwards. It's a loss of two yards. Mostert had nowhere to move his feet. And Tua's got it. He's going to turn and throw it and pick up the first down. He dumped it off to Ingold, the fullback, on a little bootleg. And he'll take the handoff, running around the right side. Jaguars give chase, and they can't get him. He's got open field inside the 30, a burst of speed inside the 20. And finally, run out of bounds by Tyson Campbell at the 8-yard line. Simple sweep. This is an outside zone play. He gets outside on the perimeter. We lose contain. Takes it down the field. You saw the speed and explosives. The one thing that has shown up early. Coming on the heels of Tank Bixby's fumble at the Dolphins' goal line. Here's the handoff, and this time they've got him. Big Roy Robertson Harris with that great long frame. Talk about low with some time. Dumps it off, but this one is going to be incomplete. Trey Herndon with a play on the ball, broke it up. Snap the placement, the kick up on the way, and the easy chip shot gives the Dolphins that 3-0 lead. Kirk is the man in motion. Back to throw, pocket collapsing, there's the throw. Kirk has got it in the first down. He's inside the 45-yard line. Javon Holland makes the stop on the 8-yard pickup. Option route runners that you can see. You can see two basic clearouts, Evan Ingram, Calvin really it allows Christian Kirk to go one-on-one. -on -one. He has the option of going. And here's Bixby. He's got it with room to run, and he finds his seam, and he powers his way free for more than a first down. Give him 14 yards to the 31-yard line. Tell you right now, you can see Tank Bixby gives this offense a different dimension. Downhill runner, runs behind us as fast. Balance, nice execution in the passing game and as during the game. Lawrence has to just throw it up to Calvin Ridley and he oh, makes a back oh, shoulder oh. catch. Was he in bounds? He was not. Pressure was coming from Bradley Chubb. It had him up in his face. Lost a teardrop out there for Calvin Ridley. Just missed having an explosive. ETN slides in motion, takes the handoff and powers his way into the end zone. And the Jaguars have a touchdown. Yeah, you gotta like that. That's exactly what you want to see. Doug Peterson. Everybody making contributions. The first two drives in the Jaguars have been nearly flawless with the exception of the fumble. Jags filling the gap up front. Thompson back to throw. Has time in the pocket. Now he's going to move outside the pocket with room to run. Wants to throw and he Oh, yes, yeah, it's it. He's in target. A, oh, yeah. It was intercepted. That's an interception. Field. That should be an interception. That's money. Eric Collins. A little toe drag swag. Look at this. First foot down. Watch the drag. And oh, Doug yeah, Peterson that's has tossed his red flag out to challenge the play. Yeah, he was standing way. right there. Yeah, that is going the other way. Thompson overshoots his intended target. Ruling on the field is an incomplete pass. Jacksonville has challenged that ruling. Yeah, I mean, you don't want to be tight in a situation like this when you can beat for a spot. you got to have them all. Here's third and seven. Beathard steps into the pocket. He's under pressure, and he's going to get sacked at the 19. McManus. Puts this one up on the way, and it is good. Skyler Thompson in the shotgun on first and 10 at the 22-yard line. Turns and slings. Oh, and this one's intercepted. It is picked off by Yasir Abdullah. The guy. Jaguars rookie from Louisville. And this is simple. Little zone concept. He has the flat, floats out up under number one. The number one receiver, the outermost guy. Picks it off, and then takes it back down the sideline. Got to like that. Here's the Jaguars' fourth possession. And if they move one yard forward, it'll be four. Washington and Harris are split. Now 
Washington goes in motion. Here's the handoff, and there goes Dearness Johnson into the end zone. And the Jaguars have another touchdown. The offense has been able to put points on the board. Dearness Johnson putting in a nice touchdown. He has been great, too. Third touchdown for Johnson in the last two ball games. And McManus is on to try. He had it. Thompson turns and fires this one up the middle, and it's caught. And a first down at the 36-yard line in Jacksonville territory. Braxton Berrios pulls in a 16-yard completion. Pressure coming up oh. the middle. Thompson's hit as he throws, but the completion is made at the 13-yard line. And it is good. 17-6. Beathard with a little bit of time in the pocket, oh, launches, shot. he's got a wide shot. open, Tim Jones, he's on the run, they won't catch him, to the 10-5, touchdown Jacksonville. There is, however, a flag down back at the 37-yard line, but if it stands, it's a 74-yard strike. You just had a bust of coverage, guy was squatting on the route, double move by Jones, and then it's just about making sure you don't blow the layup. Great pass by Beathard, nice play by Jones. Really needed that play for his confidence after dropping the ball early. How important is this third preseason game? What are you guys really looking for from the guys that are kind of on the bubble, trying to win that roster spot? Well, effort, number one. They can control that. You know, young guys are going to make some mistakes. We know that, but they can control effort. Pressure coming, and the toss out is good for a first down. Miles Gaskin runs out of bounds. Has been a busy night in the booth, man. You, you just, it's been a great night in Jacksonville. The team is playing well. Uh, you can just see it coming together. Don't like that play, but it's really coming together in terms of what Balky is talking about. Skyler Thompson sends the tight end in motion. Hands the ball to Gaskin, and he finds room up the oh, middle. No, 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 no. And it's a touchdown for Miami, and that is Chris Brooks. Dolphins going to go for two. Yes. Down 24 to 12. They've got to cross the 34. Work steps into the pocket, turns and throws, and this one is caught. Elijah Cooks has got it at the 40-yard line. And the big man crosses the 40 to the 41. It's a pickup of 18, and Cam Smith makes the stop for Miami. Elijah Cooks has certainly earned at least a practice wide spot. Second and three. Roy Plant turns, he's going for all of it, and he's got a man, and it's over oh, by Seth Williams inside the 10. What a grab. Elijah Cooks makes a couple different plays. Seth Williams comes in and says, hey, it's my turn. Let me make a play. And once again, you see him stretch out, make a terrific catch. But we've seen this time and time again. Oh, yeah. He had a big night down. Backup receivers. And so that's the conversation. First and goal at the 8-yard line. Here's the toss, and Hastings running left following Big Cam Robinson, and he's in for a Jacksonville touchdown. Motion coming. So there you see Parker Washington leading around, but this is nothing but student body left. Going around the corner, everyone is leading, finds his way to score. So we'll see if maybe he can redeem himself this evening. Here's the handoff, and Brooks has room to the outside. He's still on his feet, charging inside the 20. Still pushing. And a powerful run down to the 17-yard line. A pickup of 13 yards. Third and short at the 10-yard line in Jacksonville territory. And the ball is batted down by Deshaun Dixon. Incomplete. The Dolphins have converted both of their fourth down opportunities in this game. Thompson wants to run outside the pocket. He'll pick up the first down. Shoved out of bounds by Eric Hallett. But not before he sets up first and goal from about the six-yard line. Hand off to Brooks, and he's into the end zone for a Miami touchdown. Nothing fancy. Use the wide receiver to come across, make a little wham block. At the 37-yard line and work with play action back in the pocket. Steps to avoid pressure, but can't get away. He's caught by Randy Charlton. Work under pressure, turns and throws, and this one is incomplete. And it appears that they have called the game. 
and they're ending it right here, right now. Mike McDaniel and Doug Peterson coming to an agreement. Christian Wilkins, Brandon McManus weighing in with the officiating crew.